Hello and welcome to podcast number eight. Now, this will be the last podcast that I do um, on SoundCloud. I've been thinking about different providers and none of them seem to be very outstanding. So I thought to myself, shall I just um, host it myself or shall I do something else and I decided to just put it on YouTube as all my other content is on YouTube um, it makes sense to keep the podcast on YouTube as well so I'll be doing a podcast as it currently is and uploading it as I currently do and I want to look at either uh, filming myself doing a podcast and uploading that onto YouTube or um, doing like a, doing it in a video in a vlog sort of uh, format where I'm just talking directly at the camera and I think that will be the best solution for me and now that I've got the um, H1 I think everything is going to be good uh, in terms of getting podcasts done I'll be able to do them on the fly while I'm in the car or while I'm going somewhere and I don't need to open up the laptop and plug the uh, Blue Yeti in or anything else so from a workflow perspective um, I can be doing two or three of these a day if if uh, if I felt the need to so um, that feels very exciting for me unfortunately the lavalier mic didn't get delivered in time uh, due to Amazon and their uh, dodgy drivers who claim that they tried to deliver when they did not so the Amazon delivery driver um, claimed that they had attempted delivery when I was in the office and other people were in the office and the intercom did not ring at all there was nobody in the car park and there was no way of you know there was no way that the item couldn't have been delivered so what basically happened is the person either ran out of time to deliver everything by five o'clock or they didn't even bother and I think it's the latter <sighs> yeah so not good I'm not impressed with Amazon at all and they want to do all these drone deliveries and they want you to sign up to uh, Amazon Prime so you can get free next day delivery but if it doesn't come the next day then there's no fucking point so let's 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 talk some news so microsoft uh may be unveiling or if they have done uh have unveiled the um microsoft surface phone which is essentially a nokia lumia um rebranded with microsoft surface um aesthetics and it will work in a very similar way to uh, windows 10 uh, but i do believe it will keep the whole um tile layout so we'll see what happens with that a lot of people have been speculating the the, the specification on it um, I think it would be quite high 
or very reasonable I should say not quite high um, yeah so they could try and challenge the iPhone and you know Samsung but I'm not too sure if that's going to happen in the near future at the moment uh, Microsoft uh, phones um, cover less than 1% of the smartphone market so I don't think um, I think they're being a bit ambitious so I don't really have much other tech news that I found interesting so um, I think that was the only thing obviously there was there's other things that have happened um, there's the attack on Leslie Jones who plays uh, Patty in the Ghostbusters movie uh, sorry Ghostbusters 2016 um, so what happened was her website got hacked and her iCloud got hacked and she had naked pictures on her iCloud account and the hackers uh, pasted them all over her original sorry her official website so there's all that been happening and in previous weeks she's being well she's been attacked by all the trolls on the internet and um, yeah it's it's been more or less constant with her in terms of her getting bullied and um, she has tried to fight back she's tried to disclose her twitter account altogether and i don't know it is it's very bad what's happening and some people are taking it way too far now i don't like what i saw in any of the trailers for ghostbusters 2016 and um, I don't think um, she actually deserved any of that backlash that was given. The trailer was shit, yes, but it doesn't mean you have to then bully the person you think has caused the movie to um, go down because everybody is part of the problem. You've got Amy Pascal who's now been demoted I think she actually might have even left the company um, you've got where well, the director himself who has no vision of or even any kind of <coughs> excuse me he doesn't have any kind of uh, knowledge about how to handle a franchise he just makes movies that are one shot movies so they make them once if they're successful he's a success everybody loves him he'll move on to the next movie whereas a movie like Ghostbusters to remake it is a bit of an insult to actually completely fuck off everything that happened in the first two movies and you know just piss on everything that's come and gone but still use the logo and you know still try to pretend that this is the first time it's ever happened uh, that these Ghostbusters have got together and I don't know it's just it is it is horrible it's ridiculous and the backlash on the studio was fine you know they didn't make any money in Japan they haven't made any money more or less anywhere um, it's a 70 million dollar um, deficit that they're in at the moment and it's growing so yeah um, lay off the actresses and or actors whatever you want to call them nowadays I think an actress and an actor 
it's the same job. You can call them an actor, you can call them an actress. If you call them an actress, you're just saying, oh yeah, it's a female lead. But I don't find any, I don't find anything bad with that, so I won't mind using it. Uh, yeah, so lay off, what's the face? Don't lay off Paul Feig because he's a cunt and he doesn't understand what he's done even to this day and the way Sony handled everything was fucked up and they just dug themselves into a bigger hole and a bigger hole and a bigger hole and yeah they just need to rot in it some other news um movie news this is uh i found out that they are remaking clue the movie now clue the movie is based on um cluedo um or clue in the us um which is a murder mystery game board game where um you have a set of characters a set of weapons and a set of locations inside a mansion or a very big house and um you have to work out um who the murderer is and how they killed the person and where now, i think the where is already established i can't remember i haven't played it in a very very long time but I love the original 80s movie and um, I'm not sure if it's going to be good but I'm hoping that um, it does a good job I wouldn't mind watching that at, a, at the cinema um, the other thing I wouldn't mind watching is this Doctor Strange but I'm not sure when I'll be able to uh, watch it I'm not even sure when it comes out to be fair I know it's November uh, yeah so all of that's good um, because I'm in France at the moment I have not been able to watch the uh, Belgian Grand Prix um, I know people want to ruin it for me but um, I've got it recorded so when I get back that's the first thing I do um, SummerSlam SummerSlam was strange this year I didn't buy it like I normally do um, I, well I did buy it but I watched it the day later and it wasn't in HD so I think that was part of the problem of me not liking it so much uh, it wasn't so good it didn't feel so good it felt all a bit jumbled up I don't think um, the wrestlers were all with it um, there was a couple of things that happened with uh, Brock Lesnar so the first thing was that he actually used his elbow and cut um, Randy Orton uh, his head wide open and it was bleeding like mad now that was what was planned but not so much blood and it wasn't meant to be his elbow uh, that caused the damage obviously Randy would have to blade himself or something and then stay down for the count or something similar to that that's what the plan was but for some reason uh, Brock went a bit off um, off script and yeah we're not sure what's gonna happen to him now uh, and you know sometimes you think everyone's in on it but the referees weren't in on it so they didn't know what the fuck was going to go on. They knew what the finish would be. But they had to hurry the match off. And um, it obviously um, finished earlier than planned. Uh, the second thing 
was that uh, Chris Jericho, of all people, um, decided to have a bit of a kerfuffle with um, Brock Lesnar and they ended up having a fight backstage and we're not too sure what's happening there but um, because Lesnar um, tested positive for having uh, some illegal substance in his body he may be uh, banned from fighting in the UFC and possibly even the WWE so um, we'll see where his career lands um, in the near future uh, other good news um, there is more talk of uh, Kurt Angle coming back to the WWE and I'm um, not sure when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen but there are a lot more people talking about it so it will happen I guess one of the things I'd like to talk about is managing directors or owners of a company not understanding their own company or their own brand or how it fits in the industry or any of that thing now the company I work for had a very big client and this client decided to um, get some advice from a third party company or well, the third party approached them and they wanted a certain feature that we weren't able to or willing to provide in such a short time now even though this customer is a bit of a pain to work with because of all the demands and you don't really end up making much money from them um, such a like a big ticket client just going it does obviously affect uh, the business and four people have gone uh, since that uh, company left so the first was the managing director or who was the managing director before the company was uh, brought out by this Canadian software company and then it was his wife and then uh, one of the account managers had left to work for a competitor and the admin person who had only been in the job for a short period of time uh, had been basically told to um, hold on in there but you're actually you're actually uh, not needed anymore but we'll let you know when you can go <laughs> so um, those are the four people and some went without a fight uh, I think a couple uh, went kicking and screaming but I'm not too sure I can't really say um, but yeah so this company had an advisor who said oh you need this you need that and this person has sold them something without realizing what their company needs or what the industry is like or any anything of that nature and has just suggested something so these so our clients have turned around and said okay yes we need this because we've told we've been told that yes this is what we need and this is what will make everything amazing and better right okay so what we ended up doing was saying goodbye to them 
And um, I think personally that um, we'll see them again soon because we have a good product. They've been using it for years and now that we're making advances with our product uh, it's a lot better than anything else out there on the market so when they do come back I can see them hurting a lot because we won't be charging the way we w we were charging before and that's going to hurt them and all because of a salesman with a shiny PowerPoint presentation and a shiny suit and a big smile on his face not understanding the requirements and the actual impact and the actual impact it's had on us as a company it's mind-blowing for people leaving it's fucking scary um, I don't know who else is going to leave I think even if we don't leave somebody will get fired or what they're trying to do at the moment is to the Canadian company that owns us is trying to get um, trying to get out of the lease and what's happening is the lease um, they might actually have a, like a, a walk away clause for the lease I'm not sure but what that will mean is I won't have an office to go to every morning so what happens to me and that's what's worrying me at the moment and here I am at a show in France doing my job hoping that we'll get more customers we'll get the same customers and you know we'll get new business and then at the back of my mind there's that well you could be let you can be released any minute or any day what do I do do I look for another job do I do I go back to working for myself do I have a, a sideline job or what? So these are things that I'm thinking about at the moment. And I'm still going on site for this show in France. And I've got the smile on my face. And I'm happy and chirpy. And I'm talking to these visitors. Making sure that their experience is good and making sure that the equipment is running fine and that the organizers are uh, well looked after and they are happy with the service they are getting from me and our company and it's it, it's getting it's getting there it's getting to the point where you know you want to know you you want a contract basically you want a contract and fucking written on a tablet and I don't mean a, like a Samsung Galaxy tab. I'm talking about like a proper rock tablet that you'd see in the Flintstones. Fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah, so, you know, you want it written in stone. You want to say, yes, answer, we want you. You and your you know you and your I don't know <laughs> you and your customer skills or you and your knowledge and expertise or whatever is valid and it's something we want to keep on board um, I'm not seeing it I'm not the only thing I've seen which has been a really good positive uh, is this town hall meeting we had and it was showing that the company's on the right track it's 
not losing money it's actually making money um regardless of losing a 400,000 pound um client we were also recently in danger of losing one of my clients and all because of our system didn't provide pretty graphs so they were in the pipeline it was just that they had not been implemented yet so um they are and they are now there so these um clients are now happy well they're not happy happy but they're in they feel a lot better that you know we've tackled a problem that they wanted from our system because they like using our system it's easy to use it just works it's just i don't know a lot of people because of this um i think the news in the industry like travels like wildfire and i think people knew okay this is the time to cut our losses or you know sever ties and go in a different direction and that's not the way you should work okay yes look at new things but you need to look at new things to see if they will benefit you now what is a what is a pretty little graph going to do that numbers can't tell you nothing cuz it's the numbers that make the bloody graph in the first place so i don't know it's all about shiny presentations shiny powerpoints shiny suits and sh- big smiles from sales people so what else can i talk about now <laughs> yeah so that's where i am at the moment and i need to do something with my youtube channel and i need to get more subscribers i need to get people watching and i don't think it's working and the um patreon uh hasn't been looked at by anyone um i don't think i even looked at it recently uh it's just i don't know people don't want to pay for stuff i knew i knew that from a long time and i thought okay let's create the patreon we'll give back some stuff to people you know that actually follow me but you know that's not working i think it's a bit of a con to be fair and then the company pay, um patreon gets a share of like the money don't they or a transaction fee or something they're basically paypal the man in the middle so now this is why this is one of the reasons why i thought to myself let's just move uh the podcasts to um to youtube because soundcloud i'm not benefiting in any way um if i were to carry on with soundcloud and have to pay them 75 uh dollars a year or something like that or 75 pounds a year sorry and what i would get for that is um fake profiles there's a lot of fake profiles on um soundcloud and on most platforms there are fake accounts and you can tell these fake accounts because they like something without even listening to it and it's like okay you like my audio clip or my podcast but you haven't listened to it so are you just liking it for no reason or are you what are you a bot are you just going around clicking and um liking the first um set of videos that you come across 
So yeah, I don't think it's value for money. I don't think um, I have any regular viewers or listeners there. So I'm not actually doing anybody any good if I can't be found. So I'm getting found on YouTube. So that would make it better for me to um, put my podcast there. And that way I can ensure that I can still create these podcasts so I can better my um, better myself when I'm talking and as you can see it has kind of grown um, I think I've become a lot more confident in um, talking and it's good because I'm an only child all through my younger life when I was growing up um, I didn't have anyone to talk to to play with well I had like friends to play with but not even they weren't very great friends to play with and a lot of the times my friends would change every every couple of weeks uh, just because of the way where I was and um, yeah my only friend has always been the TV so there's a lot of knowledge I've got up here in my head and there's a lot of knowledge that I can share there's a lot of knowledge about vocational stuff like IT there's a lot of stuff I can teach people um, to do with videography you know there's there's just so much that I can help and maybe you know make a difference to somebody's life but I don't see it happening at the moment and the only way I can have it happening is if more people watch and listen and it will boost my confidence and it will boost other people's confidence from the people watching so I'm hoping that we can grow together better um, just through YouTube. So yeah, that's my that's where I am at the moment. And um, what I would like to just say is, please like and subscribe to my podcasts and. Uh, YouTube videos you can catch me on YouTube and if you do a channel filter search you can do you can just type in parity check uh, or go to uh, www.youtube.com forward slash c forward slash uh, parity check co UK so normally I would have a quote ready for you but I don't have a quote ready for you uh, but I'm gonna make one up <laughs> on the spot well not make one up I'll just pick one that I can think of the first thing that comes into my head so this is a quote from Danny Glover from the Lethal Weapon movies. I'm too old for this shit. So thank you for listening. And this will be my last podcast that will be published on SoundCloud. But it will be published on YouTube. And until next time. Good night.